This morning in pet care, we are not leaving Fido out in the cold this winter. Oh no, here to share some important pet safety reminders for the season is Jim Connell, Executive Director of the Providence Animal Rescue League. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Before, nice to be here. Before we get into any of the tips, who is this? She is the absolute cutest. This is Princess. Princess. I thought that was my name. <laughs> <laughs> she has already been rescued, but she um, is a good example of, uh, of a, a wonderful wonderful rescue dog. They make great pets and love is always adoptable at 34 Hello. Elbow Street. Hi Providence sweetie, Animal how rescue are you? League. Good morning. Oh there we go. <laughs> we're, we're getting to know each other. She's absolutely adorable. Thank Everyone you. falling in love with her here this morning and Thank we are you. all pet lovers here at the Roadshow so we know the importance of taking care of these guys and, and little girls during the season. So let's talk about the fact that we have to bundle them up. It's crucial. Absolutely. Particularly the short haired breeds like uh, Princess here. Um, they dislike the cold as much as we do and really you should know your pet. Certainly a long-haired breed such as a Samoyed or Siberian Husky could last a little bit longer than uh, she could. Right. But you have to be very careful. Their exposure to the cold and snow should be extremely limited. Absolutely. We want to monitor that timing, of course. Now, what uh, in terms of diet is there? Should is there a change we should be making? Should we be making sure they eat something specific during this time of year? Well, I think um, the, you know their overall health, of course, is crucial, but they should probably eat more because they expend more energy to keep warm in the cold right. temperatures. And the, the key to it all, really, I know my mom, she's got a strategy. She puts her dog out in the backyard, and she can watch him from the window, and she kind of has an idea, a sense of when he's getting too cold, even though he loves being outside. As you alluded to, they know, and they kind of make their way closer to the house when they've had enough. Yes, but it's, um, it's tricky in, in colder weather because their um, senses are inhibited by the snowfall and also by the snow cover. And um, believe it or not, more pets are lost during the winter season than any other. So you have to be very careful. I always recommend and they be leashed whenever they're let out of the house. How about in terms of exercise and walks? A lot of times we, we know they need to get that walk around the block or whatever it may be and if it's too cold certainly should we just monitor the temperature and make a judgment call on something like that? Yes and it's also very important um, to be aware of um, antifreeze which is very attractive. It's sweet tasting but it is also poisonous right. and very important that um, their little paws be washed when they're brought back in the house because we are um, we love salted sidewalks but pets do not. Right. And it's, it can be very very painful and it can lead to cracking and dryness just just as with our skin in the cold temps. And they'll go after anything. We know they want to yes. eat everything, they want to get into everything, so we must be cognizant of our surroundings. Exactly. And Parl, you guys do tremendous work, you know, year in and year out. We've been involved with you guys for a number of years now. The overall mission, let's remind folks really what it's all about. Well, and we so appreciate your ongoing support. And what we do is not only shelter uh, homeless animals and adopt them out, um, animals of every kind, cats and guinea pigs and dogs, but we also provide services such as low-cost uh, medical care for folks that want to keep their dogs but because they're struggling financially um, you know they might be um, um, you know willing to give them up when really they don't need to so we right. have, a, we have a, a food pantry and we also have um, you know um, low-cost uh, surgeries and medical care for folks who, who are in need. And you can walk people through the process. You know, you'll make sure that they're the right fit if people haven't gone through something like this before. Very important, absolutely. I've noticed Princess has been staring at me. You're so cute. <laughs> You're the sweetest. Everybody here loves you. I want to take you home with me. But she's not up for adoption, but there are plenty of great uh, animals that do need homes, and you can learn more all about them by checking out the Providence Animal Rescue League. Jim, thank you very much for being You're here. You're welcome. My You've pleasure. You've been very good, Princess. More better well-behaved than many of our human <laughs> guests. If you want to learn more or review these tips, just head on over to roadshow.com.